Plus, much more. Now the South has a fight on its hands. They're prepared to do whatever it takes to preserve their way of life. The fight for the soul of a nation is just getting started. Midway through the 19th century, America is entering the modern world. In 20 years, there'll be Levi's jeans, chewing gum, and hot dogs. But the nation is split, being torn apart at the seams, dividing North and South. Slavery became not simply a political issue, not simply an economic issue, but a moral issue as well. It became the issue that defined North and South in the 1850s. September 1850. The Fugitive Slave Law brings the brutality of Southern slavery to the North. Now, no African American is safe anywhere. Gentlemen, you've made a mistake. This is a place of business. I'm a tailor to my clients. I'm a free man. I'm not a slave, gentlemen. Fugitive slave law meant that if you were a slave and you managed to escape to the north, your master could come and get you, and you had no recourse. Not only that, if you were a free Negro, they still could sell you down the river. The search for runaway slaves become a witch hunt. Any African American can be condemned simply with an accusation. Even a free man has no right to a trial by jury. Federal magistrates get $10 to rule them slaves, five to set them free. Ordinary people are outraged by the new law. Abolitionist newspapers and literature spread like wildfire. Published in 1852, Uncle Tom's Cabin becomes the best-selling book of the century after the Bible. A passionate anti-slavery novel written by Harriet Beecher Stowe unknown housewife from Connecticut. It mainly appeals to women who are becoming politicized for the first time. Slavery is the burning issue of the day. As America expands across the continent, North and South face off over each new territory. 